This is a list of scientists who have made statements that conflict with the scientific consensus on global warming as summarized by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and endorsed by other scientific bodies. A minority are climatologists. Nearly all publishing climate scientists support the consensus on anthropogenic climate change. The scientific consensus is that the global average surface temperature has risen over the last century. Scientific opinion on climate change was summarized in the 2001 Third Assessment Report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change The main conclusions on global warming at that time were as follows. The global average surface temperature has risen 0.6 plus or minus 0.2 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century, and 0.17 degrees Celsius per decade in the years 1971 to 2001. There is new and stronger evidence that most of the warming observed over the last 50 years is attributable to human activities. In particular emissions of the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide and methane. If greenhouse gas emissions continue the warming will also continue, with temperatures projected to increase by 1.4 degrees Celsius to 5.8 degrees Celsius between 1990 and 2100. Accompanying this temperature increase will be increases in some types of extreme weather and a projected sea level rise. The balance of impacts of global warming become significantly negative at larger values of warming. These findings are recognized by the National Science Academies of all the major industrialized nations. The consensus has strengthened over time and is now virtually unanimous. The level of consensus correlates with expertise in climate science. There have been several efforts to compile lists of dissenting scientists, including a 2008 U.S. Senate Minority Report, the Oregon Petition, and a 2007 list by the Heartland Institute, all three of which have been criticized on a number of grounds. For the purpose of this list, a scientist is defined as an individual who has published at least one peer-reviewed research article in the broad field of natural sciences, although not necessarily in a field relevant to climatology. Since the publication of the IPCC Third Assessment Report, each has made a clear statement in his or her own words as opposed to the name being found on a petition, etc., disagreeing with one or more of the report's three main conclusions, and each has been described in reliable sources as a climate skeptic, denier, or in disagreement with any of the three main conclusions. Their views on climate change are usually described in more detail in their biographical articles. Few of the statements in the references for this list are part of the peer-reviewed scientific literature, most are from other sources such as interviews, opinion pieces, online essays and presentations. Nota bene, only individuals who have their own Wikipedia article may be included in the list. Topic. Scientists questioning the accuracy of IPCC climate projections These scientists have said that it is not possible to project global climate accurately enough to justify the ranges projected for temperature and sea level rise over the 21st century. They may not conclude specifically that the current IPCC projections are either too high or too low, but that the projections are likely to be inaccurate due to inadequacies of current global climate modeling. David Bellamy, botanist. Leonard Bengtson, meteorologist, Reading University. Piers Corbin, owner of the business Weather Action which makes weather forecasts. Susan Crockford, zoologist, adjunct professor in anthropology at the University of Victoria. Judith Curry, professor and former chair of the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Joseph Dalio, past chairman American Meteorological Society's Committee on Weather Analysis and Forecasting, former professor of meteorology, Linden State College. Freeman Dyson, Professor Emeritus of the School of Natural Sciences, Institute for Advanced Study, Fellow of the Royal Society. Eva Jeeva, Norwegian-American physicist and Nobel laureate in physics 1973. 
Stephen E. Coonan, theoretical physicist and director of the Center for Urban Science and Progress at New York University. Richard Lindzen, Alfred P. Sloan Emeritus Professor of Atmospheric Science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and member of the National Academy of Sciences. Craig Lawler, ecologist and chief scientist at the National Council for Air and Stream Improvement. Ross McKittrick, Professor of Economics and CBE Chair in Sustainable Commerce, University of Guelph. Patrick Moore, former President of Greenpeace Canada. Nils Axel Morner, retired head of the Paleogeophysics and Geodynamics Department at Stockholm University, former chairman of the INQUA Commission on Sea Level Changes and Coastal Evolution 1999 Garth Paltridge, retired Chief Research Scientist, CSIRO Division of Atmospheric Research and retired Director of the Institute of the Antarctic Cooperative Research Centre, visiting fellow Australian National University. Roger A. Pielke, Jr., Professor of Environmental Studies at the Centre for Science and Technology Policy Research at the University of Colorado at Boulder. Dennis Rancourt, former professor of physics at University of Ottawa, research scientist in condensed matter physics, and in environmental and soil science. Harrison Schmidt, geologist, Apollo 17 astronaut, former U.S. Senator. Peter Stilbs, professor of physical chemistry at Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm. Philip Stott, professor emeritus of biogeography at the University of London. Hendrik Tenekers, retired Director of Research, Royal Netherlands Meteorological Institute. Anastasios Sonis, Distinguished Professor of Atmospheric Science at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Fritz Varenholt, German politician and energy executive with a doctorate in chemistry. Scientists arguing that global warming is primarily caused by natural processes These scientists have said that the observed warming is more likely to be attributable to natural causes than to human activities. Their views on climate change are usually described in more detail in their biographical articles. Khabibulo Abdusamatov, astrophysicist at Pulkovo Observatory of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Sally Balunas, retired astrophysicist, Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Timothy Ball, historical climatologist, and retired professor of geography at the University of Winnipeg. Ian Clark, hydrogeologist, professor, Department of Earth Sciences, University of Ottawa. Vincent Cortio, geophysicist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Doug Edmides, soil scientist, officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit. David Douglas, solid-state physicist, professor, Department of Physics and Astronomy, University of Rochester. Don Easterbrick, emeritus professor of geology, Western Washington University. William Happer, physicist specializing in optics and spectroscopy, emeritus professor, Princeton University. Victor Manuel Velasco Herrera, theoretical physicist and researcher, Institute of Geophysics of the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Ole Humlum, professor of geology at the University of Oslo. Wibjorn Carlein, professor emeritus of geography and geology at the University of Stockholm. William Kaninmanth, meteorologist, former Australian delegate to World Meteorological Organization Commission for Climatology. David Leggetts, Associate Professor of Geography and Director of the Centre for Climatic Research, University of Delaware. Anthony Lupo, Professor of Atmospheric Science at the University of Missouri. Jennifer Marahasi, an Australian biologist, former director of the Australian Environment Foundation. Tad Murty, oceanographer, adjunct professor, Departments of Civil Engineering and Earth Sciences, University of Ottawa. Tim Patterson, paleoclimatologist and professor of geology at Carleton University in Canada. Ian Plymer, professor emeritus of mining geology, the University of Adelaide. 
Arthur B. Robinson, American politician, biochemist and former faculty member at the University of California, San Diego. Murray Salby, atmospheric scientist, former professor at Macquarie University and University of Colorado. Nicola Scafetta, research scientist in the physics department at Duke University. Tom Siegelstad, geologist, associate professor at University of Oslo. Nia Shaviv, professor of physics focusing on astrophysics and climate science at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Fred Singer, Professor Emeritus of Environmental Sciences at the University of Virginia. Willie Soon, Astrophysicist, Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Roy Spencer, Meteorologist, Principal Research Scientist, University of Alabama in Huntsville. Henrik Svensmark, Physicist, Danish National Space Center. George H. Taylor, retired director of the Oregon Climate Service at Oregon State University. Jan Weiser, environmental geochemist, professor emeritus from University of Ottawa. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scientists arguing that the cause of global warming is unknown. These scientists have said that no principal cause can be ascribed to the observed rising temperatures, whether man-made or natural. Sin Ichi Akasofu, retired professor of geophysics and founding director of the International Arctic Research Center of the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Claude Allager, French politician, geochemist, emeritus professor at Institute of Geophysics, Paris. Robert Balling, a professor of geography at Arizona State University. Paul Brecker, solar astrophysicist, senior advisor Norwegian Space Center. John Christie, professor of atmospheric science and director of the Earth System Science Center at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, contributor to several IPCC reports. Petter Chilek, space and remote sensing sciences researcher, Los Alamos National Laboratory. David Deming, geology professor at the University of Oklahoma. Stanley B. Goldenberg, a meteorologist with NOAA, AOML's Hurricane Research Division. Keith E. I. D. S. O., botanist, former adjunct professor of biology at Maricopa County Community College District and the vice president of the Center for the Study of Carbon Dioxide and Global Change. Karee Mullis, 1993 Nobel laureate in chemistry, inventor of the polymerase chain reaction PCR method. Antonino Zacicci, emeritus professor of nuclear physics at the University of Bologna and president of the World Federation of Scientists. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scientists arguing that global warming will have few negative consequences. These scientists have said that projected rising temperatures will be of little impact or a net positive for society or the environment. Inda M. Gokhlani, electrical engineer, science and technology policy analyst for the United States Department of the Interior. Craig Didso, geographer, faculty researcher, Office of Climatology, Arizona State University and founder of the Center for the Study of Carbon Dioxide and Global Change. Sherwood BIDSO, former research physicist, USDA Water Conservation Laboratory, and adjunct professor, Arizona State University. Patrick Michaels, senior fellow at the Cato Institute and retired research professor of environmental science at the University of Virginia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Deceased scientists. These scientists published material indicating their opposition to the mainstream scientific assessment of global warming prior to their deaths. August H. Orgy, our junior, 1940-2007, retired New Zealand Met Service meteorologist and past professor of atmospheric science at the University of Wyoming. Reed Bryson, 1920-2008, Emeritus Professor of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences, University of Wisconsin-Madison. 
Robert M. Carter (1942–2016), former head of the School of Earth Sciences at James Cook University. Chris De Freitas (1948–2017), associate professor, School of Geography, Geology and Environmental Science, University of Auckland. Vincent R. Gray (1922–2018), New Zealand physical chemist with expertise in coal ashes. William M. Gray (1929–2016), Professor Emeritus and head of the Tropical Meteorology Project, Department of Atmospheric Science, Colorado State University. Yuri Israel (1930–2014), former chairman, Committee for Hydrometeorology (USSR), former director, Institute of Global Climate and Ecology, Russian Academy of Science, vice chairman of IPCC (2001–2007). Robert Jastrow (1925–2008), American astronomer, physicist, cosmologist, and leading NASA scientist, who, together with Fred Seitz and William Nirenberg, established the George C. Marshall Institute. Harold Hal Warren Lewis (1923–2011), emeritus professor of physics and former department chairman at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Frederick Seitz 1911 to 2008, solid state physicist, former president of the National Academy of Sciences and co-founder of the George C. Marshall Institute in 1984. Topic: See also Environmental skepticism, Global warming controversy, Climate change denial, Global warming conspiracy theory Hockey stick controversy List of authors from the IPCCAR4WGI report List of climate scientists Merchants of doubt Oregon petition Surveys of scientists' views on climate change Notes <laughs> <laughs>